right. Olai, do wo ichi shui zhongwen. Come and learn Chinese with me. So, uh, hello, this is the second video upload of my Journey to Chinese Fluency uh, series. So, I am currently working on learning the Chinese language, and this this requires a large amount of memorization, you know, especially just for building the vocabulary. A lot of flashcards, a lot of writing down characters, a lot of reading every day. And I felt like I would like to share this for anyone out there who's also on the journey to Chinese fluency. <clears throat> so I've got my peach soda. I've got some jackfruit. <clears throat> my iPad. And ooh, well, looky there. And we're going to be using the Anki application uh, in order to go through a large number of Chinese characters. For those of you that didn't watch the first video, which understandable, <clears throat> uh, we're using a sentence deck of 20,000 characters. Mine is a, a modified deck, but I can uh, actually show you where to find this online. So we open up add an X, add an import on the Anki application and we select Chinese once it pulls up the Anki web website. Now you're gonna need to be signed into an Anki account in order to do this, but it's free. Uh, so you know, no big trouble there. <clears throat> so you will see that there are a large variety of different Chinese decks that have been created by a large number of people over the years. And two of the best ones to look for, <clears throat> let's see and go through here. We're going to put in the number 20. No. Twenty thousand. <clears throat> Here we go. So there are 20,000 Chinese sentences based on other decks. So you can see that essentially he's used PyCon code in order to sort the sentences according to HSK level. They've been pulled up from all over the website. They've pulled audio and they've pulled sentences and put them together. The deck's not perfect because obviously they've just used some code to pull these sentences together and to... Um, order them according to level. <clears throat> Even though it's not perfect, it's still a really good step in the right direction. As a matter of fact, he says so right here uh, in the paragraph where he describes it. And I think that this is actually a really useful deck to download. I have downloaded this deck and I've been slowly correcting everything that I find wrong with it as I go and modifying it to make it into a better uh, Chinese learning tool. So eventually I will be making that available. The other one you can look for, which is uh, pretty popular and has quite a lot of downloads. <coughs> Spoon, oh, fed, really? Well, Spoon fed Chinese might not be available here on It looks like the spoon-fed Chinese might not be available anymore, but I do have a different download source and I've got it downloaded myself. So I can go ahead and upload this to a Google Drive and I'll make that available for people that want to. So you see I have the spoon-fed Chinese simplified and this is uh, another really great deck. It also has audio and sentences that have been scrubbed from the internet. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and... I think we'll go through the modified 20k. I've got fewer cards to do there today. And I'm just going to go through my practice. And uh, if you're doing practice at home, hopefully this can be encouragement to go through this kind of long trudge towards learning the Chinese language. Ni yao. Shu. Dian Gua Ma Nia Chidian Guama 
this is funny. So I've actually um heard recently to uh chi chi gua or chi gua recently has been an internet slang here in China. It means to gossip. But the literal meaning of this sentence was do you want to eat some melon? So we have ni yao shi dian gua ma ni yao shi dian gua ma ni yao shi dian gua ma would you like some melon wo mei you ling qian You'll, you'll see one problem with doing this on iOS. Uh, there might be some registry changes you have to make to the deck itself in order to get the characters to show up right. So we'll we have no money. The the my wo mei you and qian are all written the same way, uh, but ling looks different here, right? <clears throat> The ling that it has here is the printed form of the character, and what I've written here is more of a, a written form of the character. So those are actually the same, but uh, the way that I've done it is a written character instead. Ta Shui Shi Shang Jin Bu Han Kwai. As he so we have he shui shi means to learn. Xiang. It kind of means like on. Jin <coughs> bu means to improve. This is. Jin Bu Jin Bu Hun Kwai Hun means very and fast. So Tashui Shi Shang Jin Bu Hun Kwai. I am going to say that this sentence, this is the first time I've seen this sentence in particular, um, probably means that he learns very quickly. Okay. He makes rapid progress in his studies. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump over actually into Pleco. So Pleco here, we're going to go through... Hmm, Shui Shi Xiang Jing. So we have Xiang and Jing together form the verb go forward or to make progress. Xiang Jing. While Bu means a step. 
or a move forward. Shueishi is to study or to learn. So, so Xiang Jin Bu together means to make forward progress. Well, I suppose progress means to move forward anyway, so to make progress. So to Sheng, Jin, Fu means to make progress. So if you Shui Xi, Sheng, Jin, Bu, Hun, Kuai. Kuai? Yeah. Then you learn or you uh, make forward progress in your studies very quickly. So um, he made rapid progress in his studies. Or, well, this is not necessarily correct though with the English. So, because there's no tense in this. It doesn't say la, and it doesn't use guo. So there, there's nothing here that tells us that this is referring to his past progress or his past performance. Uh, this could actually be a present tense statement. They could be saying he makes rapid progress in his studies. So, you know, he's a fast learner. Uh, so I'm going to actually just change that. <clears throat> to he makes rapid progress in his studies because from yeah, he makes rapid progress in his studies uh, and I think that that is a, a really good way to write that now we, we could probably add a second English sentence actually uh, hmm He improves in his studies very quickly, which is a little bit more similar to the sentence structure that we see there from the Chinese. So here it says he studies and improves very quickly. Right? So that would probably be We could put it that way. Right? Or, you know, We'll go ahead and mark down to that most similar sentence structure. So wherever possible, I, I do like, wherever possible, I do like to put down an English sentence for these cards that matches the Chinese sentence structure as closely as possible. So I think um, adapting that Chinese sentence structure into your English while you're doing the practice with both the English and Chinese sentences can really uh, go a long way towards helping you memorize things quicker.
，我没有意识到。啊、uh, ，No, I was going for this DAO at first, and then I ended up wavering and getting it wrong. So the DAO that I wrote was the same as for the Chinese character. Zhi. Zhi Dao, which means to know. So, yeah.、Uh, so I, that's why I went for that one, but I was clearly wrong. So we may have missed out. Let's go ahead and go through these.、Uh, I. This is may means uh may means to not like not possess or not have something, or to have not done something. So. Uh, well, may yo yo most typically translates as have, so may yo means to have not. Have not. So well, may yo ish. Let's go ahead and check out ish inside of Playco. Ish. Consciousness or awareness. I have not awareness. Now Dao, we can go ahead and check and see how Dao is being used here. So let's go ahead and type in Ishu Dao. Awareness, arrive, reach, go to. Ah, there's a preposition,、uh, up until or up to or up till the present. So I think that that's the most likely way that that's being used right now. So the way the sentence is using "wo me o ishi dao" is I have not me o ishi awareness until this time. Until just now, I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that until you just told me. All right, so oh, you know, if your friend tells you、um, I have a cat, oh, I wasn't aware of that until you told me that you had a cat. All right, so I'm gonna give that to myself wrong once again. 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 Wrong Jin Ho, Qin Ju, Qin Jun Shi. All right. So Jin Ho, Qin Jun Shi means、uh, after now. So after now, or in the future. Qin means please. Jun means to prepare, right? So to to prepare and shi, this is shi from time, like from、uh, the character for shi jian. Oh well, shi jian would be this way. Shi jian, so shi jian would be mean would mean time. So jin hou qin jun shi, jun shi would mean after now, please prepare your time. Or let me go ahead and check with jun.
It means to be punctual or on time, on schedule. All right. So junshu means punctuality. And the characters that make it up are the characters for to prepare and time or to prepare your time, which uh, I think is a really good way to describe the idea of being punctual. You have to prepare properly, you know, to, to make the best use of your time. If you've got to be somewhere at the right time, then you need to junshu, you need to prepare your time in advance and be punctual. So I think that's a really great way to, to do that. Ah, uh, but I had the wrong jin. So I had, oh, and of course, actually, if I'd looked at the pinyin, I would have known this. Um, so jin, this is jin tian de jin. This is uh, from now. So jin ho means after now. Um, the one that I wrote was jin from zui jin, which means closest. So uh, that was a mistake. Hey, kitty cat, you gonna come in here with me? Okay, actually, this might be a little bit too short. 我能和你做生意,太高兴了。Alright, so we are correct. 我能和你做生意,太高兴了。Now, uh, 和你, so that is I, able, or have the opportunity, the ability, with, you, do, business, to happy. All right. And I'm only too happy to be able to do business with you. What is it, kitty cat? Mei Mei. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? My cat, I think he wants his uh his cat nip toy. <laughs> If he's not coming down, he's not getting it. Tamen Chu Jin Hong Yi Jia Lu Guan Tamen Chu Jin Hong Yi Hong Yi Jia Yi Hong Yi Jia Lu Guan. All right, this is a new one. Tamen means they. Chu Jin Hong Chu Jin means uh to Ju Ju Zai where to to Ju somewhere is to live somewhere, right? Jin Um This Jin I think generally means like to enter Tong which is this Tong uh, this tong means like together, like uh, tong yi ban, like means in the same class, or tong shu men means uh, co workers, or tong shu men means classmates. So tong yi jia, tong 
同一家。Uh, so this tong is actually separate from yi jia. The yi jia is actually part of lu guan. Uh, now this lu guan is a uh, I think Lu Guan. I think it's two third tones. Uh, this Lu Guan means uh, hotel, hotel or apartment. So um, Yi Jia is actually a measurement. This is a measure word that's being applied to apartment. So let's go ahead and erase here. Yi Jia. You Lu Guan Yi Jia Lu Guan means one apartment building. So Tamun Zhu Jing Tong Yi Jia Lu Guan. So they live. Jin Tong Yi Jia, Jin Tong Yi Jia. So inter means, so we, we know that uh, this one here, this Jin means to enter. So I'm going to say that in this sentence, it means they live in together at one apartment building. So they live in the same apartment building or they live in the same hotel. I think Lu Guan is going to be a hotel. So they live in the same hotel. Oh, they dwell at the same hotel. So we have that right. Uh, oh, and the, the theme for this Lu, this is, I pointed this out actually. They don't have the correct um, curio, see? They put that double dot in a three. That's a symbol for this right here. And that's where this U makes that different sound saying Lu. It says you, you, like you, like you, like you. Yeah, like, there we go. So uh, I managed to figure that one out. I'm great. I'm happy to do that. All right. Tong ta shui shi shang jing bu tong kuai. All right. This is the one we did earlier. Ta shui shi shang. Jin Bu Tang Kwai. And uh, that obviously means that he studies and improves very quickly, or he improves in his studies very rapidly, or he very rapidly improves in his studies. Ta Xue Xi Shang Jin Bu Hen Kwai. We go. Great. Oh, Mayo, Ishu Dao. Oh, Mayo, Ishu Dao. I was not or have not. Awareness until this moment. I wasn't aware of that. Um, we were aware of the problem beforehand. Well, let's see if that sentence is right. Woman means we. Shi Xian.
Cho. Zhido. Yo. Zhego. Wen. We So this is one that I've had. Uh, I actually re-recorded someone actually Chinese saying it, and then also my terrible pronunciation afterwards. Um, so we're pretty much right. The only one that I've gotten wrong here is Xian. Now, this one can show up in like Xian Sheng. Just a Xian Sheng. This one means a, a gentleman. So we have we. Jo, which kind of means just, it's, Jo is just one of those characters you, 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 there's no English translation for it. There's, sometimes you can translate it in English, but most of the time, Jo you just can't. Zhidao mm, means to know. Yo means to have. Zhega means this. Wenti, problem. We just no have this problem so should to this xian we need to take a look at and say figure out what's going on there the second one so shu xian means in advance beforehand or prior Let's go ahead and look at the two different things. So we know shu is a matter, affair, a thing, or a business, a trouble, an accident, job, or work, or responsibility, or involvement. It also has a verb form, uh, but as a noun. Yeah, and the verb form to be engaged in or to wait upon or serve. So I don't think it's either one of those. Xian. Me can mean beginning. It's the opposite of ho. So, uh, like, e ho means you're like after, or ho mian means behind. Yeah, block that rotation there. Um, hmm. <clears throat> As an adverb, ah, oh, there we go. Earlier, before, first, or in advance. In advance, okay. So that's the meaning we're working with here inside of shu xian. So we about this matter in advance already knew that there was this problem. So let's look at this. So the beforehand in this sentence is right here. So we, about this matter, were already aware beforehand. Uh, so it's very interesting. I would say that the translation here is really good, but let's go ahead and see if there's maybe a better way we can rewrite that sentence because I'd like to turn that into something that just is a little bit more reasonable. Can we go for... Prior, in advance, first, previous, previous, so I believe that another appropriate translation for this one would be, we were previously
We were previously aware of this problem to be another good translation for this sentence. And that's a little bit closer to the Chinese sentence structure. Shen. I'm going to go ahead and write that out one more time since I got it wrong. Shi. Xian. Shi Xian. Zhou zhi dao you zhe ge wen pi. Oh, well, I gave that to myself. Uh, undo. I got that one wrong. Jin ho. Qin jun shi. So, after today. Mei Mei, what are you doing? Jin Ho Qin. Jun. Shi. Jin Ho Qin Jun Shi. Jin Ho Qin Jun Shi. Jin Ho Qin Jun Shi. Uh, please be punctual in futurity. In futurity, you could kitty cat. All right, let's see. Oh, that's just wrong. After today, please be punctual. Which is much closer to Jin Ho Qin Jun Shi. Because it literally is Jin Tian de Jin. It's like now, right now, today, or after now, after today, in the future. Alright. So that's what we're going to do there. After today, in the future, please be punctual. There we go. All right, great. So that's another one fixed. I don't know. We've probably fixed a couple hundred of these by now. Kind of off the side there. Means that is the person I saw yesterday. And the pronunciation here is a little bit weird with the uh, mechanical audio. That's not right. You typically, this na is ne, ne, ne. Is usually how it's pronounced, or even ni ni is really common as well. It varies a little bit depending on uh, people's own regional dialects and you come over here. People's own regional dialects and whatnot. No, 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 no! Don't show that to the camera. People don't need to see that side of you. This side's a lot cuter. You should good may 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 may. You should you may may. Good boy. All right. 那就是我做天下人道的那个人 um, That is 我做天下人道的 I Yesterday Saw or met Duh, right? And this duh describes the something possessing the property of something, right? 
So it's saying the is the person who has the property of being who of me seeing them yesterday. So it's the person who has the property of me seeing them yesterday. Alright, so that's um the way that that is. So that is the person who has the property of me having seen them yesterday is how that duh is being used. Right? So that is the person I saw yesterday. Yeah, that's correct. That one's a good one. Tell you what. If you want up here, you can just come up here. No? No. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. All right. Come and chu ching tong yi jia lu guan. Come and chu ching tong yi jia lu guan. Means they live in the same hotel. They dwell at the same hotel. They live in the same hotel. They do. Zhu Jing. Zhu Jing. Hong. Yi Jia. Kitty. Ah, I can't write while you're head bumping me. You go on. Tamen Tong you see this side doesn't have the Chinese character. So this is uh, an example in these decks where they only put the Chinese characters on one side of the deck. So whenever you do it the other way it won't show you. And if you're going through trying to handwrite, that's really annoying. So Go in there and just add that. Tamen Chu Jing Tong Yi Jia Lu Guan. There we go. So, Bo Yi Jing Xie Le Sang Ge Xiao Shi Le. Bo Yi Jing Xie Le Sang Ge Xiao Shi Le. I've already been writing for three hours. Oh, um. This means I already write la is like past tense. So have written or have been writing sanga for three shall shula. Xiao shi is hours. Sang ge xiao shi le. So for three hours. So I've already been writing for three hours. Wo yi jing xie le san ge xiao shi le. I've been writing for three hours. So I'm going to add in already yi jing. Because that's really kind of the meaning of yi jing. Wo yi jing xie le san ge xiao shi. Good. Oh, and while we're here, we can actually go ahead and um, copy that Chinese over and put it on the other side of the card, too. That way... 我已经写了三个小时了。每星期我去游泳两次。每星期我去游泳两次。oh, now, this is a different May. This one is the May for every May. Xing Chi Wu Q 
去。呃，游泳，游泳两次 ，I'm pretty sure that I got this wrong. 每星期我去游泳两次。每星期我去游泳两次。All right, so I got it half right. We got it half right. So yo yo, and I was actually correct with yong. Right, so yo yong yang si, which really should be there, but you know, there we go. So that one's wrong, but very little wrong. We're almost there to where we've got that one memorized. We were previously aware of this problem, or we were already aware of this problem. Even、uh, we were aware of this problem beforehand. So, 事先 Means beforehand, or potentially even it could be used as already or previously. So I know that the character I got wrong here was 事先 Shi xian, shi xian. Shi xian. Let me go ahead and write it one more time. Shi xian. It means beforehand. We first knew that there was this problem. We. 看看 ，look， 你都做了些什么？做了些什么 ？All right, me is you. 都 all 做了 done 些什么 ？What? Look at all you've done. And we'll go ahead and check in here because I want to look at that 些什么。So as a measure word, some or a few. As an adverb, some a little or a little more or a little. Little few, rather somewhat. Before a noun or by itself, it means what for shama. Something or anything. Before or after ta or do means any or every. 什么都 means any or every. 什么都不想喝 means there's nothing I want to drink. Or 什么都不想吃 means there's nothing that I want to drink. 
whatever. He'll eat whatever I can find. Use Kurushima. Yoshima san. Oh. Use correlatively with another shima. It can mean whatever. Yoshima zanmen jochu shima. Whatever there is to eat is what we'll eat. You know, what there is to eat is what we will eat. Or whatever. Things like such as and so on and whatnot. Hmm. So I think that um, the way it's been used here is kind of like just what? So, and I think that this she is being used as a measure word right here. So the, just look at just what you've done. Kan, kan. Look. So really what it's being used to say is look at all the things you've done. Or look at all, look at all, look at uh, everything that you've done. Or look at what all you've done. Hmm. So suppose if uh, you came home and your child had made a big mess. Maybe there's multiple things broken. Uh, your you know, mouse is on the floor. The kitchen is a mess. They haven't cleaned their rooms. Uh, there's paint on the walls. You say, kan, kan, ni dou zuo le It would be, uh, just look at what you've done. Uh, and getting onto your kid would probably be a really good application of this sentence. Cool. Please The Wang, this character Wang means toward toward please towards Zhi Bian means this side or this direction. Kan means to look. So it literally translates to please towards this direction look or please look this way. Or please towards this direction look. Ta jue de yi dao jian guo ta ta jue de yi dao no, She thinks she has met him before. She Jueda to think or in this case I suppose to have an impression. Yitian before Jian Guo Jian means to meet or to see someone. Guo when it's used in this uh, particular Guo when it's used in this particular method is to show past tense as in something's already occurred ta. so that she had met previously him so it changes really to jian is to meet so jian guo really changes that to like met has already met 
So she thinks she's met him before, or she has the impression she's met him before. So let's check out Jueda. <coughs> it can mean to feel, to think or to feel. So here, it's more of that feeling. So it's like she feels like, right? She feels like she's met him before. Or she feels like she previously met him, right? So which is going to be really, really similar to that sentence structure, right? She, ta, Tajueda. She feels like she, kind of implied there, Yitian. Previously, or, yeah, so we're previously, already, before, 见过, met, ta, she feels like she had previously or already met So we'll go in here. I'm going to go and oh, it's a new sentence. We'll go through, pop that in here. She feels. Or it could be felt. She felt. Mm, there we go. She felt or feels like she had previously met him. She yitian means before. Or it could also mean, you know, previous. So before, formerly, or previously. Yitian Jen Guota. She felt or feels like she had previously met him. She feels like she has previously met him, or she felt like she previously had. So, had. There we go. There we go. 她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。她觉得以前见过他。
，我已经写了三个小时了。Means I've already been writing for three hours. 每星期我去游泳两次。每星期我去游泳两次。And you could also switch this out. The 星期 the 星期 I think you could also switch out for Joe. 每周我去，每周我去游泳两次。每星期我去游泳两次。每星期我去游泳两次。All right, great. 这个学期三月一号开始。这个学期，这学期学期 right here is like a school term or a semester, right? The semester, um, 学期三月。一号开始。这个学期三月一号开始。You also switch this out for 一日。三月一日开始。三月一日。这个学期三月一号开始，这这个学期三月一号开始，这个学期三月一号开始，这个学期三月一号开，三月一号开始，这个学期三月一号开始，这个学期三月一号开始。All right. 坐在你妹妹，坐在你妹妹旁边，坐在你妹妹旁边，妹妹，妹妹，妹妹 is my cat's name. 妹妹 is it means little sister. Sitting 他不喜欢吃吃鱼，吃鱼。他不喜欢吃鱼。He doesn't like eating fish or to eat fish. 他不喜欢吃鱼。他不喜欢吃鱼。鱼。鱼。鱼。
Now there, I was able to read this one. I've seen this card a couple of times before. But that character, Yu, uh, I don't actually know that one. If I just saw that somewhere else in a different sentence, I might not be able to provide the correct answer, Yu. Because it's one that very rarely shows up in these cards. So, Yu. I'm going to write it out a couple of times. You. 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 Fish. I wonder if you turn it sideways. Does it look like a fish? It doesn't look like a fish anywhere to me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe it could. Maybe... Maybe this is the fish's uh, mouth. You have uh, some fish eyes and scales, right? And then this is the this is the fish's body and and, and fins. That kind of looks vaguely like a fish. I can see how that's a fish. That's vaguely a fish. Okay, yeah, it's a fish. Hmm. Well, something, something is one Tinghua's man. Hi. Hmm. Okay, this character I'm going to need to go after a couple of times. I don't know how to write that. Two. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say that's the right way to write that. Probably wrong. We'll see in a second once I know what it is. Shu yi go. Ting hua. De nan. So Nahai is a boy. Ting is to listen. Hua, like shu hua, is uh, like the words that are coming out of somebody's mouth. So, sugar ting hua de Nahai. The boy who has the property of listening. Ego is a, a boy who has the property of listening. Here it's I, but I think it's going to be my here in this sentence. So my, I'm going to guess that this is Didi. Didi is the Chinese word for a little brother. Uh, I don't know how to read or write this word yet. My spoken Chinese is significantly better than my reading or writing. So this is uh, a, sometimes a lot of words that I learn here when I'm learning the characters are things that I already know how to say. So I'm going to say, 我弟弟是个听话的男孩, which should mean that my little brother is a little boy who's good at listening or yeah i'm gonna guess we're gonna go with that we're going 我弟弟是一个听话的男孩. my little brother is a boy who's good at listening he's an obedient boy Tinghuara. ah to Tinghua. Ting hua, to listen to what you're told, to lead, heed what an, 
elder superior says or to be obedient. So, hmm. Hmm. All right, so uh, my little brother is a boy who's good at listening. If you're good at listening, then you follow what you've been told, and so you are obedient. Uh, so there we see that I've gotten the the tinghua da, right? Tinghua da. I've gotten the, the literal meaning there, and the meaning that I've derived from it is really similar to what they want to say, but doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. So here I'm going to go ahead and give it to myself wrong because I kind of have obedient incorrect and i'd like to remember that as a uh as a new uh new word a new phrase that i have available to me so ting hua da shu ting hua da shu ting hua da shu obedient all right wu di di shu ge ting hua da na hai so i've gotten that wrong despite getting it right um but that's fine because the next time around i know it Ha means she feels like she's previously met him. She feels like she's previously met him, right? Or she felt has a feeling or an impression that she'd met him before. She felt like she's met him previously. Hey. Uh, was missing one line through Tai. 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 Tai is another word for food. Fan is also Tai. Fan is also food. Tai is also food. So, but Jia Chang Tai is home cooking. Jia Chang Tai. So this word jia can be used as a measure word for like a hotel, but it also means home. Home or even a house, right? So jia chang cai. Means home cooking. We can drop that into Playco. Chang Tai. Ordinary, common, normal, constant, variable, frequently, often, usually. Always, ever, obedient, frequently, commonly, general, or constant. So we may need to add jaw here as well. Let's see. Ah, so the three characters together form home cooking. But just chang tai doesn't mean cooking. Jia chang tai is home cooking. Fascinating. Jia jia chang tai. Jia chang tai. Ni xi huan wo de jia chang tai ma? 
All right, so I'm going to, uh, I got Ty wrong. So all right, I'm going to take a quick little break and then I will be back. Can I pause this? Can I pause the recording? No. Okay, so I am back. I'm going to put on a sweater because it was a, it's starting to get a little cold in here. I got myself some snacks. This is Hua Jiao Huo Ba. Let me make sure that I've got those characters right. Hua Jiao. Hua Jiao Huo Ba. Hua Jiao Huo Ba. So this is um, Sichuan peppercorn flavored baked rice. Hmm. That was really good. And I think. I think that that is a picture of Wang Yu on the front of the package. Hua Jiao Kuo Ba. Those are really good. All right, so we are back into the practice. Wo Di Ji Shi Yi Ge Ting Hua Da Nan Hai. Now, in this sentence, probably, that E is probably optional. You could probably just get rid of the E and just say, Shuga. Ting. Hwara. Nan. Hi. Uh, yeah, the last two characters are a little rough looking, but is my little brother. Is an obedient boy. My little brother is an obedient boy. 我弟弟是一个听话的男孩. You go ahead and I'll just edit this real quick. And we will add my little brother. 我弟弟是一个你喜欢我的家常菜吗? So we have 你 Well, here it means my. Da. Chang. Tai ma. Ni xi huan wo de jia chang tai ma. Do you like my home cooking or do you enjoy my home cooking? Here I think I'm gonna get man wrong. Wu Fan Jong oh no. What a bell man wu fen jong. Man wu fen jong. When you're writing the characters, it goes top to bottom, left to right when you're writing the strokes. And you know, each of these little components, these are characters by themselves, right? 
So like this little guy pops up you know, in the character for Yao. All right. So Yao Meh Meh. Meh. It means slow. Meh. Meh. Wu. Fen. Zhong. The mang means busy. Mang zhong, which can mean middle. Yo. Tu. Manjong yo tu. Mang zhong yo tu. Shi. Hen Chang Jian Da. Um, so this first character, Mang, means busy. Zhong means middle. Mang Zhong Yo Tu. Tu means wrong. I have no idea. Absolutely none. I I know what all of these characters mean in uh, isolation or in other sentences, but I have no idea what, what this is supposed to mean. 忙中有座是很常见的。Okay, um, Mang, Mang Zhong Yo Tu, Shi Hen Chang Jian Da. I'm going to copy and paste this entire sentence over into Playco so we can try to figure out. Okay, so here we have an example of an idiom that's being used here in the sentence. And this idiom is, um, brush work leads to errors. Rushed work leads to errors. Work, haste makes waste. Sh used as is or as is. Hun is very. Chang jian. Chang jian. Chang jian means common. As is common. Use at the end of a declarative sentence for emphasis. So that's probably what we've got going on here is does being used at the end of the sentence for emphasis. Hmm. 
go ahead and paste that there. Man, Jong, Yo. Haste makes waste. Man, 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 jong, yo, tu. 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 Shu. Pen. Chang Jian is very common or as is very common. There are two M's and an N in common. Okay. Man Jung Yo Tu Shi Hen Chang Jian the Mang. 忙中有错，请帮我喂我的猫，好吗？ Means, uh, will you feed my cat for me? Uh, so here I got that one incorrect. There's no line through there. Ching Bang Wu Wei. Wei means to feed. Bang means help. So please help me to feed my my cat. Please help me feed my cat. Please help me feed my cat. Uh, Chinese, they don't use commas to separate things. But whenever you would read this or if you were to speak it, there would be a little bit of a pause before the how ma. Alright, so that's you're turning that statement uh, or well, you're making it into a yes or no question with that ma at the end. Like, Okay. So, ha don't die. Car quick. Ha don't die. Car He is in a meeting. Ha don't die. Car DD, I still haven't decided how to write that yet. DD. Shu ego ting father. Nah, hi. What the? My little brother's an obedient boy. Shu fan is shu ho, wu zai ha de dui mian. Shifanda Way. Yeah. 
吃饭的时候，我坐在他的对面。吃饭的时候，坐在他的对面。好、oh, ，Good。小男孩在捡零食，不见了。小，小男孩 ，that means little boy, a、uh, small small boy, little boy, little e 呃、uh, 在在，就是名。就是名 ，like from 名字 for name， 再点名时，时 from 时间 ，so time， 不见了。小南 ，I haven't seen the boys in a while。哎，嗯 ，do。小男孩在点名时不见了。啊，在点名时，在哦点。So dn here is a is a, a verb. 点名时。The 点名 ，it'd be roll call. 点名，点名 is roll call here in the sentence. 时 is just short for 时间 so time. So the at roll call time, 不见了 We didn't see him, right? So 不见了 means that、uh, he wasn't seen. He wasn't there. Nobody saw him. Yeah. All right. 小男孩在点名，点名时，点名时。男孩子，小男孩在点名时。见了，再点名时不见了，再点名时，再点名时，再点名时，再点名时，呃，点名时，点名时，点名时，点名时，再点名时，再点名时。小男孩再点名时不见了。So that that should be the flow of the sentence verbally. 小男孩在点名时不见了。小男孩在点名时不见了。All right, so I got that one wrong.、Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead actually and edit that one. Great. 小男孩在点名时不见了。No wait. 小男孩，播的比较慢，五分钟。表。慢，五分钟，表慢五分钟。Watch is slow by five minutes. 我的表慢五分钟。我的表慢五分钟。我们每星期工作五。天，每星期六和星期日休息。是我们每星期工作五天，每星期六和星期日休息。We work five days a week and have every Saturday and Sunday off. So we have the characters for 星期，星期 is week. Work. Ah,、uh, five days. Five 
天，陪辛弃工作五天。All right, so then we repeat May Xin Qi. This is May. This is every. Every week work five days. Wu Tian. And then every Xin Qi Liu. Xin Qi Liu is Friday, uh, Saturday, right? Xin Qi Liu is Saturday, and this is that. Leo character, and then we also have every Xin Qi Ru off. So then uh, this is Ru. Now this Ru is not. Um, this isn't the only word you'll hear for Sunday. Uh, sometimes people may say Xin Qi Tian. Some people may say Xin Qi Tian. Uh, it would be another one that you'll hear. Um, let's see, Xin Qi Tian, Xin Qi Ru. Um, I think that there's also a, a third one that I've heard before, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. So, we right. Means the boy was missing during roll call. So, we use the Dao for arrived. Dao le here zhe li li is for like place yi ge yue this yue uh, sorry yue yue is for um month yi ho yi ho after Man Kai Shu Kai Shu Xiang To Xiang is to desire or to long for or to want something. Xiang Jala Jala Dala Tuli after they'd been here for a month. Or really, uh, after, after being here for a month, the students began to feel homesick. It would be a little bit more correct. So I'm going to go through there. A month after arriving here. F T E R. My goodness, how is that an in? Okay, we're. A R R I V I N G. Jeez. 
this. Here. A month after arriving here, the students began to feel homesick. With haste makes waste, as is often the case. I was just looking for you, Wu Zheng Yao Zhao Ni. Really? Really? Like, really, it really is. No idea. Something Rin. Chang, very like Fei Tang is like especially very much. It's a really emphatic, really so more than Hen. Uh, hen is very. Uh, Fei Tang is more like extremely, especially. Uh, Bu. Hmm. Really, this something person. Exceptionally not what? 真實的,這叫人非常不便。這叫人。這叫人非常不便。啊,方便。Oh, would be like uh, from 方便, would be convenient. Something is something is very convenient, then it's 方便. So if it's not convenient, then it's 不便. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and look at this jiao ren. Wojeng call greet hire or order name or call 
Fit Humphrey. Yeah. 真是的，这叫人非常不便。这叫人非常不便。So I'm going to say that this is for ask, order, or tell. So really, and so 真的 means like truly, really. So 真实的 like truly, 这叫人。To ask this of me, so I'm the the person you're referring to at this sentence is yourself. You're not using the character 我 but you are you're saying 人 a person you are a person. So 这叫人 to find this person and ask them this is very 非常 As very inconvenient. So, like, really, it's very inconvenient of you to ask me, or it's very, um, yeah, 这叫人非常不便 Like, it's very inconvenient for you to ask me this of me right now. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna leave the sentence as it is. Interesting. Do做生意。太高興了。我能和你做。太高興了。太高興了。小男孩在點名時,點名時不見了。The little boy was not present for roll call, or the little boy was missing from roll call. Showed up missing at roll call. 真实的，这叫人非常不便。真实的，这叫人非常不便。这叫人非常不便。Jiao Rim Fei Chang Bu Bian Dushi This. 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 This.
今天看上去是个晴天。Once again, wrong thing. 一个过时的火车，机车，过时的。一个过时的火车机车。哎，火车机车。一个过时的火车机车。Forgot that one there. So, uh, 火车 is a train. 机 is like 手机的机。This is like for a 手机。Maybe three. Maybe three. Uh, is a phone. 手机 is a phone. 机车手机机车火车机车 It's a locomotive. This. 水，七，三月，一，号，开始，三月一号开始，三月，这个学期三月一，他是近视。他是近视眼。嗯，最近的哦。啊 ，You know what? This is the same as、uh, yesterday. I got this wrong as well. This is 是近视眼。最近 is the closest or nearest to 近。是，这是电视的是 ，like for a television. It means to look at something. To look at something, and then Yan,、oh, I got that one right. Wu Le Yi He Ni Chu. This is Le Yi. 和你去，我乐意和你去。我乐意和你去 ，means I'm willing to go with you。那是我们在同一班，同一个班。那时，那时，事件的时，那时。At that time, we men in the same class. That time, we were in the same class. Okay. Okay. That's another card fix. 那时我们在同一个班。We were both in the same class. At that time, we were both in the same class. <音>那
时，他年近四十。He is nearly forty. He's nearly forty. 四十，四 is four and. 十 is ten. 四十 is four tens. Or so it's four times ten, really.、Uh, or ten to the fourth. Ten? No, that's not right. Ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. It's four sets of ten, right? So, ta nian jin si shi. He's nearly forty years old. Ta nian jin si shi. Yeah. Ta bu xi fan chi yu. Chi. Okay. Genshida. Truly. This person. Oh, this bian is also bian is found in fang bian. It's convenient. And bu bian here is not convenient, but it's also found in the word da bian, which means to take a dump. It's number two. 真是的。今天看上去是个晴天。今天看上去是个晴天。晴天，哎 ，nice day. We'll go ahead and look at it in the dictionary. Fine or sunny day, 晴天 That's usually what people mean by a nice day, isn't it? When we're talking about the weather, 今天看上去是个晴天 <coughs> 一个锅是的。火车机，啊喂，机车，一个过时的火车机车，一个过时的火车机车。车，火车，机车，火车，机车，火车，机车，一个过时的火车，机车，一个过时的火车，机车，一个过时的火车，机车，它是近视眼。近视 ，two of those， 眼，他是近视眼，他是近视眼，近视。那是我们那时，那 ，or 那 ，or 那，都不对。那时，那时我们在同一班，同一个班。那时我们在同一个班，那时我们在同一个班，一同一个班，同一个班。
在同一个班，一个班。那时我们在同一个班。All right, so we have finished the deck for today. Let's have some touch swiping features turned on that I need to turn off. So that is my modified twenty thousand sentences for the day. I went through, fixed a couple of uh, new cards, making those adjustments to make it into a little bit better of a deck for people that uh, ended up using this uh, later in the future after me. So hopefully one day that proves useful to somebody. And um, you know, if you're working on your journey towards Chinese, I've been living here in China for quite a few years. I actually go out and talk to people. I'm fairly capable of carrying a conversation. I I've reached a point where generally, um, that I feel there's a little bit of sincerity in the way people compliment my Chinese when I actually go out and talk to them. Right? The the way that they tell me it, it's you know very natural usually is is the way that they say it. Um, it's a very difficult language to learn and to really. Oh, I've got a fan in there. I should have turned off. I just realized. It's a very difficult language to learn. Uh, sorry about that noise in the background uh, in the second half of the video. And it takes a long time. This is the trudge that it is to get through. This is it, this is learning the vocabulary. This is learning the language. Um, you know, stick with it for a while. Go through it. Trudge through it. Eventually, you'll be able to hold conversations in the language. You'll know what you're looking at. You'll know what you're hearing. And you'll also be confident in your ability to speak. So hopefully we'll be able to get some people subscribed to the channel. We'll start doing uh, some other activities. I'm thinking about um, doing some gaming in Chinese. You know, pulling up a couple of popular games and uh, going through and playing them in Chinese, so that all of the dialogue and all of the uh, the audio, the dialogue, item descriptions, and everything, I'll have to go through and actually translate them as I play the game otherwise I won't know what's going on because my reading <laughs> my reading is not good enough to handle uh, a game that's been designed developed for an adult Chinese person to read the, the, that level of language is a little bit beyond me right now so it'd be a fun thing for me to go through and force myself through you know, you get rewarded with the gameplay it'd be a fun thing to do all right thank you very much for watching you have a Fantastic day. Zai Jian.